Hi, my name is Patrice Lawrence and I write, I should say I write for children and young people, but I write books with children and young people who are the main characters. Mainly contemporary books with teenage characters, but also some historical fiction and the occasional book about flying toads. It's hard to choose a childhood story hero, mainly because I was a young black child growing up reading books that were mainly white characters. And though I love stories, at the same time, they were telling me that I couldn't be in stories. But my favorite character is um, Mole from Wind in the Willows. Uh, I love that book, though it took me three years to be able to read it. But Mole starts off at the beginning, beginning of Wind in the Willows and he's doing his housework and he drops everything and runs out. And that is so relatable. There's also um, a chapter where he's feeling very homesick. So he's sort of staying with Rat in his like waterside apartment, he wants to go back to his burrow, but is worried that his burrow is a bit too shabby. Rat is really empathetic about it. And I suppose the reason I find that so relatable is I grew up in a very loud Trinidadian Italian family in a cul-de-sac in um, Sussex. And horror of horrors, my mum and my stepdad weren't married, which was very, very rare in those days. So I was really worried that my friends wouldn't want to come back to my house because ours was a house that was loud, Italian Trinidadian, great food, interesting music, but just different. Actually, what sort of Wind in the Willows taught me, particularly in that chapter, is about empathy. And if they're your friends, they really don't care. So I would always owe that to Mole. And I'm also very short-sighted as well, so he's my hero. My top three tips for, for storytelling. Firstly, it's about voice. And I think particularly for young people, when you are asked to write a story for school, you're quite often asked to write in a very certain way with certain um, elements of grammar in it and certain structures. But when you write for yourself, you write for pleasure. Think of your own voice. Think about how you tell a story. Think about the fact that quite often when we talk, we don't talk in uh, full sentences. Think about the words that get used in your, your own family. So again, growing up in a sort of a Caribbean and Italian household. Um, I'm actually very good at Italian swear words, so I can't put those in YA. But think about specific words in your, your own family or your neighbourhood um, and use your own voice, be proud of your own voice. And I would have to say that if you're writing creatively, when you write at first, don't worry about spelling, don't worry about grammar, that's what technology is there for, just write your story. The second thing for me is always compelling characters. I love characters that have got flaws. So they're not perfect, they make mistakes. They sometimes might be a bit angry, but quite justifiably so. Um, but they're like characters that people really want to follow because you need to follow that character story through the whole of the story. And thirdly, write what you love. I hate hierarchies around stories. So if you love fan fiction, write fan fiction. If you love horror, write horror. Don't be afraid to, to sort of try different genres, but you don't have to write high literature with Greek references and loads of adjectives. Write what you love and be passionate about it. Mm -hmm.